for this, we need a card selected from a shuffled deck, and it doesn't matter what it is. So I'll run through the cards like this, and whenever you like, just say stop. I'll assume you stop me there because you're not here, but you could also sign this card if you were. I'll lose that card somewhere into the center of the deck. And for the next part, I need to use the playing card box. I'll place the cards into the box just like so, and I want you to focus on the ace of spades right there in the center of the card box. Watch, in slow motion, it's gonna do something pretty incredible. That ace is gonna to begin to slowly and visually vanish from the card box just like that. You can actually see that it's gone. But it doesn't travel too far because if I take the cards out of the box and spread through, you'll notice something very interesting has happened. One card and one card only now has something printed on the back. Look, just like that, the Ace of Spades is now printed on the back of one card in this deck. And that card is your Six of Spades. Stick around and I'll teach you how to build and create this gimmick. It's Tutorial Tuesday, folks. <laughs> Welcome back to all the original subscribers and hello to all the new subs out there. Today you're in for a treat. I'm gonna teach you how to make my very own slow motion vanishing box gimmick or slow motion vanishing spade on the box gimmick. Either way, what you're gonna learn is a super cool, super dope practical effect that allows you to have a selected card lost into the deck, placed in the box. The spade visually vanishes in slow motion from the box and finds the selected card. Now, if you want to win my actual gimmick, the exact gimmick that I'm making right now in today's video, then you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and make sure you convince five of your friends to subscribe to the channel too. I now I know what you're saying. It's bold of me to assume you have five friends. The same goes for me. Just convince five strangers to subscribe to the channel. That's all you need to do. Send me some proof on social media in my inboxes and I will choose a winner at random by next Tutorial Tuesdays video. That is enough of me yabbering on. Let's learn how to make this gimmick. And you'll be quite surprised at how easy it is to do. So this is everything you're gonna need to make your gimmick. It looks like there's a lot, but actually it's all basic, basic stuff. And m almost all of you out there, definitely the magicians, are gonna have everything you need at home. Uh, and it takes a couple of minutes. It's not as daunting as you think. So I'm not even gonna have to run you through the entire intricate process. Um, you need two boxes of cards and you need a blank face card. Then you need some double stick tape and some regular tape, a scalpel and a pair of scissors, and of course the deck that comes with it. That's it, it it's really, really straightforward. Take your first box, peel apart the edges so it can flatten out, and you're just gonna cut off all the sides so it's left with these two edges and this bottom piece here, right? The first box, you basically just, you're just getting rid of the back and leaving the edges on, right? You do that with a pair of scissors. With the center of the box, which will be here, you'll use a scalpel to cut this portion out. And of course, be as careful as you can because these things are really sharp. But just take your time and trace around the edge, making sure that you leave these scroll work and, and this little archway on the box itself, right? Basically leaving you with this exact cutout. Then when you have this, obviously it'll have the ace of spades in it, very carefully take your time and trace out and cut out that ace of spades. This only takes about a minute in total. Just take your time and get a nice cut out of the ace of spades. Then you can discard this piece. You don't need this piece. That's gone. So with that ace of spades cut out, it'll look just like that, okay? And what I do is take that ace of spades and put it on the back of a card. Now you can get intricate and you can peel this and then use Elmer's glue to make it much more in line with the card. You can pay to get specially printed playing cards with this ace on the back, so it's actually on there. You can get stickers like this. I don't bother, it's really overkill, and you'll understand why at the end of the video. But I just place that onto the back of a selected card. Now with your second box, you're just gonna cut off the, the top of the flap here. You're just gonna cut that off, all right? Just like this. With this card box, you're going to place double stick tape along the back of this edge, and this edge, and this edge. So basically double stick tape to the back of here, here, and here. And what you're gonna do is stick that over the box. But one other thing, you're also gonna stick double stick tape under here, and this is gonna work as a stopper. This is gonna work as to stop the magic gimmick going into place, right? And you can actually see that double stick tape right there. And once you've done that, you're almost ready to assemble it. The only thing you need to do is take a, take a blank playing card, and I've just taped on a coin to the bottom. That's just to weight it, right? Which is gonna help you in the effect. And you'll notice I've cut that card 
just about over halfway, so a little bit further than half. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna stick everything together. I place this card here to give some space to the gimmick, and literally, I just place that over here, making sure I can see, and I go ahead and stick everything down. Just like that, getting it as close to good as I can. And that is the gimmick. That is actually the gimmick right now. And you see, I can make that ace vanish. That's actually scarily easy to make. Now, if you have any extra pieces sticking up, add some extra tape, stick it down. But that really is your gimmick. So I bet you thought that was going to be difficult, but really, it's just about cutting out the edges and you're ready to go. And then you have this gimmick which can make this ace slowly vanish like this. Obviously you do it in a different motion. Like that. One other thing, if you want to at the end, you can switch this box out and have a box that has no ace there. Now to get rid of the ace, you take some nail varnish remover and some cotton wool and rub it on this and it'll actually rub away the ink leaving you with a blank area on your box and you'll understand how to switch it at the end of the video but now that we've made the gimmick you can see just how easy it is to make let's go ahead and learn how to perform this routine what i'm going to do is take the vanishing ace card box design and slide my gimmick up and out of the way but what I'll do is I'll slightly angle it to sort of lock it in place whilst it's in my pocket, all right? Now this can go into your back pocket or in your jacket pocket or even down on a table with this out of sight. And of course, if you're using a double blank card, this is even less noticeable. But what I did, I just placed it into my pants pocket and threw my t-shirt over it for now, just because it was easier for camera. Now you need to force this card. There's so many different forces you can use, but what I did was a slip shuffle. So I just literally held the bottom card as I shuffled, and I held it to the bottom, which meant I can shuffle, and you see this, right, which keeps the gimmick on the bottom. I then do a Hindu force, which is where you pull cards off like this, and this card never actually changes, but it looks like the cards are changing, really this is there. And the way that works, as you all know, you just pull cards from the top into your hand. I then display this card, and they can sign it. So, that gets lost into the deck. Now, I... I'm going to place these cards into the box. I'm going to place them in so that the face of the cards are at the face of the box, so it gets a nice display at the end. So I hold them at the edges. With my left hand, I take the box. And what's nice is that if the white area has fallen down, because I'm holding it in like a dealer's grip, it, it covers it, right? So I place them into the box. Of course, not exposing this gimmick here. So even though that's up, I cover it all, right? So they go into the box, just like that. I can now use my pinky to, or my ring finger, to just make sure that that edge is up flush in case it's fallen down, but this happens here, so you can't even see it, it's completely covered, all right? And now I'm gonna make the ace vanish. The vanish looks like this. Boom, in slow motion it vanishes. What's really happening is, from behind, you probably don't even need me to tell you, but I'm obviously not closing the lid, I'm shaking, I'm pushing the card down a in a straight line, so not at an angle. I'm trying to push it down straight from the center, like this, until it gets to about this position. And now with the weighted coin, if I can, if I, if I go side to side, it'll fall down. If I go up and down, it'll look kind of obvious. But with a rotating motion, that will actually add a bit of downward, downward uh, inertia to make the white card drop. So, it, but it disguises it in, the, in, this, in, the, in this motion, of, 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 in this circular motion. So, I come here, I begin to expose view, I'm pushing down as I shake, pushing down, pushing down, pushing down as far as I can go, and then eventually the last part is going to fall. So at speed it looks like this, just because it's pretty, speed is going to just visually vanish just like that. Boom, gone. And now you're pretty much clean. You can, you can tilt this down and obviously that's going to cover here take the cards out and because there's certain principle principles in magic you aren't going to be able to have the box examined but what you can do is 
place this in your back pocket. If you've used nail varnish to remove the ace off another box, this can really help because then you can switch it. But for the time being, all the focus is on where is the ace gone. And because we're making it reappear, people aren't desperate to look at this yet. Because if you do magic, when you make something disappear, people look for it. But when you make it reappear, they tend to stop looking as much or looking as hard. So it vanishes, go to your pocket with this. And if you want to, you can have a spare one in your pocket to switch, which is ungimmicked. And now spread through the deck. Da, 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 da. You will literally just see the card with the ace on it take it out and now the effect is completed i don't worry about this being stuck on because it you know the fact that it visually vanished is the magic effect um but that that's the end of the effect and now if they want to see the box and i've nail varnish removed the ace off another box then i can just go ahead and reach back bring it out show that they're blank this can be examined this is their card and it's signed this doesn't matter if they take it off because it's only finding the card that's the effect and that's how to perform it. I hope you enjoyed that, folks. Like I said, you can go with the full hog and have the box finish examinable and the card finish examinable and make it as crazy and as, as overcomplicated as you want. But in reality, this is a fun little worker and you use this type of effect in the middle of your routines so that you can segue into something else and keep the magic going before you give them too long to try and like take everything apart. You guys out there that do a lot of performing, you know the types of tricks like this. Some tricks you can do as miracles on their own. Some are segue pieces that just go into the middle of the routine. This is one of those, but don't underestimate the power of it by A, having them visually see something happening and B, having that thing lead somewhere else, which is to find their card, which at the end of the day, spectators are still pretty impressed when a magician just finds their card, let alone doing it in super visual and interesting ways that they haven't seen before. Now remember, if you want to win this gimmick, this exact gimmick that we use in today's Draw Tuesday, make sure you subscribe to the channel, just hit that subscribe button, and convince five of your friends to subscribe to the channel too. Send me some proof on social media, and I will choose one of you at random by next tutorial Tuesday, and send my gimmick free of charge wherever you are, anywhere in the world, to your front door. Also, don't forget to drop a like on the video so it helps me know that you enjoy these types of gimmicks that I make. And hit the notification bell, do it right now. I'll give you two seconds, one, two, thank you very much, because you'll be the first people to see these videos when they go live, which means you can start making the gimmicks before everyone else and posting them to social media before all of the magicians. So with all that being said and done, thank you all for tuning in. I love each and every one of you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I will see you in Thursday's episode of Fooler.